Netflix is really fumbling the bag with what could have been a sleeper summer hit. God dang, man. Hey there, cinephiles. Today, I'm reviewing Hitman. Richard Linklater's latest film is coming to Netflix, and it stars Glenn Powell and Adria Arjona. It follows this nerdy professor whose part-time is basically being a fake hitman for the police. A more than interesting enough premise, and it's actually based on a true story. It's really cool because I watched an interview, and in it, Linklater and Glenn Powell both said they found this article, and they found it like 20 years apart from each other. And immediately, they both had the inclination and want to actually make this into a film. So the fact that it was actually able to happen with both of them on the project is pretty dang cool and i gotta say for the movie as a whole aside from the cinematography this is a great time it's slick sensual well paced well acted well written just so much about this movie works so well and i'm so happy that i got to watch it in a theater the moment i walked out i instantly wanted to rewatch it which i mean i guess i can very soon as it's coming to netflix but that just saddens me as a whole this is the type of movie that's actually going to be great with watching with multiple people and yet the way that netflix is handling this movie is actually very sad i was just randomly scrolling to see what movies were coming out soon and I just happened to see that Hitman was coming out in theaters. I knew it was going to have a very limited theatrical run but I didn't know when. So thank goodness I was able to see that this was showing in a theater and I immediately bought my ticket to do so. Because even for its quote-unquote opening weekend it barely had any showings. And it sucks too the journey for this whole movie because it originally premiered at TIFF to amazing reviews and it had to keep playing the festival circuit even all the way up to Sundance which I believe is where Netflix bought the rights to this movie. But of course of all of the studios it had to be netflix and it's just having this very weird release and it's unfortunately due to that that i think this movie is going to be robbed of its potential popularity in a theater but i digress let's get past this unfortunate lack of a theatrical run that it deserves and let's dive back into the movie i'm just so glad i got to enjoy this as much as i did because i've been anticipating this for a long time richard linklater is one of my favorite directors as he's directed my favorite trilogy of all time the before trilogy and he's even directed movies like school of rock and this movie's just just another great one in his repertoire and it all really stems from the wonderful writing and the great performances. Glenn Powell is just so so good in this. I've been in the Glenn Powell camp a while now and I'm so excited for his turn in Twisters and this movie is just an embodiment of why I like that actor. Overall this is a great showcase of his talents and why I think he makes for a wonderful leading man. He just has so many great bits in this and it's always really cool to see the lead actor pair with Linklater as a writing credit for his movies. And it's another reason why I like Linklater so much and I look up to him. When I make my own short films, I like to talk to my actors and I like to see what dialogue feels natural for them to say. What's really important to me is as long as they get the essence of the scene out. And you can really tell how great this directing style is through the camaraderie of the actors on set, especially between Glenn and Adria. Their chemistry is off the charts amazing. Adria, the woman that you are. The woman that you are. And I believe too that she also had a stellar performance for what this character is. Just talking about this movie, man, I, I want to see it again so bad. It's just so unfortunate that it's shot like a Walmart commercial. That is by far my biggest issue with the movie is its cinematography. I just, I am just so not a fan of it. For as lively as the characters and plot are, I just, uh, man, visually, man, it hurts. <laughs> But god dang, is this movie just such a great time. If the movie's still in theaters around you, I implore you to grab some friends and watch it because that's going to be the better experience than waiting for it to come onto Netflix. But if it's on Netflix for you already when you watch this, please watch it. It's one of my favorites of the year, and I think it's going to appeal to a lot of people. You may not love it, but you'll definitely at least like it. I give Hitman a 4 out of 5 stars. Once again, I cannot wait to rewatch this movie because I just left with such a big smile on my face at the end of it. And for the type of relationship that this ends up being, I fully understand why people ship this type of relationship now. Oh man, this is just so good. I cannot wait to rewatch it. But all right, guys, those are my thoughts on Hitman. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, if you've seen any Richard Linklater movies, be sure to let me know your favorite down in the comments. As always, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Be sure to stay tuned for more Yeti Films content, and I'll watch you later.